could game science have a defamation lawsuit on their hands? Uh, it might be the case. Uh, with everything that happened here, with all these gaming journalists doing massive, massive damage control because they didn't want this game to be a success, uh, trying to libel these guys over and over again as sexist and misogynist, uh, they, they very well could. Uh, and I think it would be pretty easy to prove damages just because, like, it's already such a success. What more of a success could it have been? It might have might have been double. Instead of 10 million units, we might be at 20 million units at this point uh, if they hadn't done this. Uh, and so this is a pretty interesting topic right here as it goes to show that these uh, gaming journalists are uh, dishonest. Uh, they're evil. And they do this kind of thing very, very often. Uh, I've had it done to me. I've actually won a libel lawsuit. So we can uh, look at this information and, uh, and look at it through a lens of somebody who's actually been through this. Uh, let's check this out. My name's John Delarose, everybody. I'm the most trusted name in science fiction fandom because I fought that lawsuit and won. Um, and I'm also covering most of the stuff here that's great in pop culture news. Really appreciate you for being here. Please check things out and hit the like and subscribe button. Really appreciate you again uh, and everybody who does so. And uh, we've got a great graphic novel, science fiction, a lot of fun stuff on Kickstarter right now. So if you want to support the channel, you want a great alternative to Star Wars or Warhammer 40K or any of the woke properties that have failed you over the last several years, this is a wonderful place to start. Support our channel. Back the book today. Come grab us. We, we hit $30,000 over the weekend. Insane, insane. Uh, this is our best uh, selling book yet, and I appreciate you guys again for being there. I know I've said that a lot, but I really do. I really do. All right. Uh, so let's take a look at this. A legal analyst, Andrew Esquire, asserted that Dot Esports UK associate editor Tom Foley defamed Black Myth Wukong developer Game Science. This is pretty interesting. In a recent video uh, to his YouTube channel, Legal Mindset, Esquire said that Foley defamed Game Science with his recently published article titled Black Myth Wukong's Shameless Lack of Diversity is Attracting the Wrong Type of Fans. He said it's worth pointing out that he's saying is essentially, I mean, at certain points, defamatory. It's business defamation. Business defamation, making false statements that harm a business's reputation of their, you know, business. Their, of course, business, etc. From there, Esquire went through much of the article. At one point, he uh, quotes Foley, who wrote, Considering the reports of sexism running rampant within the developer's workplace, we can only speculate, but I strongly believe Wukong's lack of diversity is adding fuel to the fire. He commented, this is defamation. He's got no proof of this right all at all whatsoever, so that's defamatory. He's defaming them right there. Now, I'm going to as a uh, put on my journalist hat here and, and actually look at the wording of this. While he said that's, that's possible... I think it actually goes back to the original IGN article, and that that original IGN IGN article is defamatory, calling them sexist. Uh, we covered the, the journos that did that. We you could tell there's personal animus there uh, that caused this. Uh, they were calling for boycotts of the game, uh, and uh, and that obviously was just based on something personal rather than any problems here. But what the wording of this article says, uh, considering the reports of sexism running rampant within the developers' workplace. There are reports out there. It's from IGN. They're false reports, but there are reports. So I don't think this guy here personally is going to be able to be hit with defamation very easily. Uh, like I said, I think it goes back to IGN, and you gotta you gotta go at the source of like where that came from because that's where the defamation that's that's what caused uh, multiple people to be speculating about it. Now was those original IGN reports. So that's where that hits, and that's where I would uh, aim my lawsuit if I were starting this. So what happened with me was the World Science Fiction Convention banned me in 2018. I'm a science fiction author. I've, re I've written about 20 books. They're in they're in the, on my Amazon page in the description below or my web store. Um, and uh, I was going to attend the convention, actually buy a booth, set set up and sell some books. And uh, what happened was uh, they libeled me a racist bully on their website, got me blacklisted from publishing, so I have to do things all myself, uh, and, uh, and then the rest is history. Uh, <laughs> yeah, things, uh, it, it hurt for a long time, and I, I, I proved some damages there. They, uh, they actually settled with me. They were forced to apologize publicly uh, for what they did, and they spent over $130,000 on this, uh, which that convention could not afford. It was uh, uh, pretty fun times. Now, this is a much bigger deal because this is much bigger stakes at play with a game of this magnitude. And like I said, I don't think that uh, the uh, the, uh, the um, 
Foley article really has much to it based on what I'm seeing here. But I do think that the original IGN article has a lot of problems. As far as reports of, of sexism running within the developer's workplace, they do not exist. They do. This, this is wrong here. There, there is the report from IGN, yes, has been repeated. And that's correct. That's that's where, uh, like I said, I think that the um, and that IGN is really the one where you'd focus your fire on at this point. Uh, it did. It accused the company of sexism based on social media posts from the developers and old recruitment co- posters from the company. They wrote, beneath the luster of the souls like is a studio plagued by claims of sexism. So, and this is where they. This is where IGN is defaming them because until IGN wrote this post, there were no claims of sexism that you could find anywhere. So uh, they made the claim. This is they're the ones that did it. And so that's where the defamation exists, in my opinion here. Uh, several posts have surfaced from Chinese media outlets Weibo, uh, which Weibo, not Weibo. <laughs> I'm tired this morning, guys. Give me a break. I'll fix it and edit. Uh, written by individuals from the studio that contain multiple references to genitalia and sexual innuendos. Uh-oh. Um, so they're disputed by a number of individuals noting they were mistranslated or were translated in the most uncharitable way possible. And so, like I said, this is where IGN uh, obviously, obviously overstepped uh, with what they were doing right here and got themselves into a lot of uh, trouble. So I'm wondering if the business implications here, because if you, you got to prove a couple things. One, uh, for a defamation lawsuit, you have to, uh, it has to be wrong. Uh, and you have to go, okay, well, I, you know, I'm not a racist bully, right? <laughs> I'm legally not racist now. Uh, it's great. Uh, and then you, you, the intent there has to be to uh, to harm a person publicly, right, and to harm their uh, deal. And you have to prove that intent too. Uh, I think that's easily doable with IGN and with that uh, journalist right there, based upon uh, our video yesterday and what we exposed uh, on how they uh, they they go absolutely crazy uh, on this uh, this this uh, video game developer. Uh, and then you have the, the the next thing is you have to prove damages, and so it's doing very very well despite this. Uh, that that's actually something very difficult uh, uh, to prove at that point. Uh, but but you could always make the claim that it would do much better. And and here's an interesting business development that I saw on uh, this this morning. When will Black Myth Wukong debut on Xbox Series X slash uh, S? This game might be delayed due to a Microsoft decision. So. Uh, it, it, it's interesting right here as Microsoft has not released this game and is not putting it on their Xbox deal, deal here. Uh, and they, they've actually held it back. Within three days, it's become one of the most successful releases of the year on PlayStation 5 and PC, but did not launch on Xbox. And so they say there's decisions and policies by Microsoft, which is very, very interesting, affected debuts of other uh, deals on their deal. So Paul Tassi, who's who's on all this stuff, trying to, he's one of those woke journalists trying to hurt this deal. Uh, He says, according to his sources, the only barrier is Microsoft's policies with its consoles. According to a report, the action adventure game did not launch due to technical issues. He stated the situation is very similar with Baldur's Gate 3, which did not debut due to performance issues on Xbox Series X. Um, While, of course, Microsoft hasn't said exactly this is according to his sources, so we don't know. And so it says Xbox seems to have fallen into a situation like Baldur's Gate 3. As Microsoft policies, the company requires technical parity and simultaneous launch on Xbox S, X or Xbox Series S. So if a game does not run well on one of the systems, the studio must delay it to achieve that parity. Um, so uh, apparently there's a memory leak uh, that's happening on, on one of these. I, I, I can't recall which one it is from what I've heard. Uh, and that's uh, what's with the situation. But it's very suspect timing that they just like canned this game uh, as there's quote controversy around it. So if you could, you know, kind of tie this to that, you might have your little legal case right there saying that it, it hurt us and Microsoft actually held us back because of this. Uh, and that that is a possible uh, avenue with which to pursue. Don't know if that's the case. Don't know if it is actually just technical. But like I said, it's all very, very suspect. And honestly, the only people who are hurt on this level are Microsoft, uh, because this game's so popular, the Xbox just loses out again. Can the Xbox like survive anymore else? Like they have no games that anybody really wants to play as uh, as exclusives on there. Uh, it's just a disaster. And and we know that they're uh, working towards uh, making everything PC compatible for the future. It seems like they're abandoning uh, the console. Uh, for future generations, at least for, uh, you know, 
uh, anything on that level. Interesting stuff right here. And like I said, uh, I, I, uh, I kind of disagree with um, the uh, the idea that Tom Foley's uh, d done the defamation here. Like I said, I think he's just repeating things, and I think he is covered by saying that there are reports because he can point to, well, there's these other articles, and that all stems from IGN. So I think IGN's the one who uh, is at risk of defamation here, and I would love to see them just like slap these people in a lawsuit. It'd be amazing. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure to check out my awesome graphic novel, guys. Uh, and I appreciate you for all the support you've given us so far. It's in the description below. We'll be back soon.